one of my viewers ran into Chris in town and gave me all these seeds. What? This bag of seeds was given to me by April, my good friend at Grace Junction Homestead. I haven't even looked in it at all. As tempted as I've been, you're gonna see with me what did she give me. I'm just gonna pick these up one at a time. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, a little tiny package full of teeny tiny seeds. Rocket Cat thinks she's coming to visit. Don't get on the table, Rocket Cat. Malabar spinach seeds harvested by Jackie Chisenhall in Pflugerville, Texas, August of 2019. So Jackie, if you see this video, thank you. I've only ever grown spinach from Baker Creek, but I think I grew two different varieties. So this will be fun to try. Cantaloupe, yay. I had really good luck with my cantaloupes this year, so I'm looking forward to growing more. And my gardener seeds, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, Lacinato kale. One of our favorites, we have uh, Russian blue kale growing in the garden right now. This will be a great variety to add to try and see how we like. No, not Russian blue kale. Maybe it is. Is it the, yeah, it's a curly leaf. This is from heirloomseeds.com and it is Paul Robeson tomato. This is from Rhymer Seeds and it says striving to be the choice for all your garden needs. Climbing triple crop tomato. I think I'm gonna start grouping these by plant. So there's one tomato, two tomato, three tomato. So this is from Baker Creek, a Vorlorn purple tomato. It's another tomato. It says gardener's delight. This variety is noted for its large yield of sugar sweet, yeah, this was a sugar sweet cherry tomatoes. What is this? This looks interesting. I was gonna say to another tomato, but it doesn't, I don't know. Let's see what it is. It is white Thomasol tomato. That's interesting. Unlike the picture, it's not a watermelon. This is a purple Russian tomato. So that's so far like six varieties of tomato. This is another one from Heirloom Seeds. Wow, she April must just love tomatoes. This is the Heinz something number tomato. It's torn right where it says, oh, there it is, 2274. It doesn't really have a description. But since it says Heinz, I wonder if this is like a paste tomato or a ketchup tomato, in which case, this is the one for me because I have never made my own ketchup and I would like to. Another tomato, Kellogg's breakfast tomato. It looks like we're out of tomatoes for now. Uh, this is a forget-me-not, a sweet banana pepper. Yum. I wanted to have more peppers in the garden next year, so that's exciting. Bloomsdale long-standing spinach, which is one of the spinach varieties I've grown before. I am happy to have more spinach. Where did my other little spinach packet go? Right here. Okay. So there's spinaches. Onions. I haven't ever started onions from seed and I have some onion seeds. I need to learn how to do that. So I'll be doing some research. A pickling cucumber. Eggplant. I've never tried to grow eggplant. That will be an interesting experiment. This is cute. This looks like somebody, a little packet they made up. It's yellow and white acorn squash. I love squash. I have a terrible time with squash bugs. I think next summer, next spring, I'm gonna plant my squashes all where the pigs were this year. More flowers, baby's breath, fennel. Ooh, this has gotta be a big pumpkin. It says pumpkin, untested. So I don't know whether these will go or not. I'll put them up there with the squashes. I see something else here that says squash. Seed Savers Exchange, Dostal Cucumber Squash. I have never heard of a cucumber squash. If you guys have had this before, Dostal, D-O-S-T-A-L. Please leave a comment and let me know what to expect from the squash. How does it taste? What's the texture like? That kind of stuff. More pickling cucumbers. Where were those other ones? Over there. Can't read the label because it's in the seeds. Oh, broccoli. Calabrese broccoli. Another pickling cucumber, we'll put it over there. This is from Trade Winds Fruit. It's a tiger melon. I'm gonna read the description. A deliciously popular melon known for its crazy skin, bright yellow streaked with red stripes. Flesh is mildly sweet and very aromatic. Originally from Armenia, Armenia, I think is how you say that actually. Add that to the squash stack. Oh, here's another one that I don't recognize. The front says delicate sweet flavor. And it is a, ah, a delicata squash. 
High sugar content, fruit are one to three pounds each, and skin color is rust white with green stripes. I love squash. I'm gonna have to have a whole squash garden. Strawberry spinach? Look at that. Huh. So I've never seen this before, but it says you can eat the leaves, the stems, and the fruit. Shiny red, mulberry-like fruits are edible and can be added to salads or used to make dyes. It's becoming scarce, self-seeding annual 90 days. This one I might try to save seeds from. I haven't done a lot of seed saving, but I'm starting to become more interested in that. Where was my other spinach? Over here. So three kinds of spinach. Peanuts. I don't know if we can grow peanuts around here. I might give it a shot, we'll see. This says red curry, K-U-R-I. I don't even know what that is. Uh, looks like it's probably a squash variety. So we'll add that to the squash. Large Cinderella pumpkins, yellow squash. I am not sure how to pronounce that. Is it radicchio, radicchio? It's basically this red looking cabbage. I'll put that with like the spinach and, or the broccolis probably. I don't know where I put them right there. Oh, another kind of cantaloupe, Crenshaw giant cantaloupe. And are we down to the end? Is that it? Oh, no, what's this one? This says carbon, C-A-R-B-O-N. I don't even know what that is either. Thanks April so much for sharing your seeds with me. It's a little bit chilly out, so I thought I'd sit here by the fire and dream of gardening. I came home the other day and there was a stack of seed packets on my kitchen island. I didn't know where they came from. Turns out one of my viewers ran into Chris in town and gave me all these seeds. What? Look at this. Thank you so much for your generosity. I'm excited to take a look and see what we've got. All right, we're gonna start with two kinds of basil, maybe basil. Depends on what part of the world you're in, how you pronounce it. Uh, what are these? Ooh, fava beans. I don't know anything about fava beans. I don't think I've ever eaten them. I'll have to check them out. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, you guys. Look at this. That is a mini red bell pepper. Poblano peppers. Yum. Why am I saying yum? I don't like hot peppers. But I can sell them or give them to friends. So thank you. We will make use of those. All right, what have we got here? Here we've got three packets of cosmic purple carrots. In my opinion, these are good for a side dish. They're a little bit spicy. I like them better as small fingerling mixed in with some other vegetables, maybe some onions, things like that. Um, I'd, I don't think they're as good for fresh eating because they do have a little bit of a spicy taste, but they're beautiful and yummy. Ooh, this is kind of neat. A jigsaw pepper. Look at all those colors. Leaves are multicolored in tie-dye patterns of lavender cream, violet, sea foam, and forest green, make it one of the most beautiful peppers. Short, stocky plants produce small, plum-colored col fruit about as spicy as a jalapeno. <gasps> oh, wow. So many things I've never grown before. Two packets of purple cauliflower. Purple cauliflower? What? That's crazy. So pretty. Three packets of tender green burpless cucumbers. <gasps> Ooh, dazzling blue kale. I do love kale. Kale is one of our favorites here on our homestead. Pink dandelions. These are for the bees is what he said. Thank you. Thai double blue butterfly pea. <gasps> that sounds really cool. I have no idea anything about it. I'll have to check it and see what it is. All right, we've got one, two, three. Three packets of coral carrots. On the back, it says that these are good for juicing and for storing, so yay, because that's, um, juicing is one of my favorite ways to have carrots. Four packets of eggplant. I'm gonna admit to you, I don't know that I've ever eaten eggplant. I wonder if I had it in a vegetable lasagna once. I don't know, but I for sure have never grown it, so that's exciting. And then this last one is a gold metal tomato. This is the one, yuck, no licks, ugh. No, no. This is the one I dropped, it's new Lily. Blah, 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 blah. This is the one I dropped. Duke, be still, bud. Don't knock the camera over. 
This is the one I dropped. It's a New Zealand spinach. So another variety of spinach for me to try out next year. Thank you so much for hanging out with me during this seed unboxing video. It was really fun. What plants did you see in there that you've never grown before? I can't believe all these seeds from April and from this viewer. So many new things to try and grow next year. <laughs> what, Rocky? You want to come up and say hi? Hi. Say hi. This is Rocket Cat. Do you guys remember her when she was just a little kitten? So I'm going to throw up a link here of the garden planning I did last year. I'm going to take a look at it and kind of think about what I wanted to do and then dream for next year. Winter's a great time for doing that, don't you think? Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend.